Do you ever feel like you don't have it in you to be successful? Do you lack the motivation to pursue your goals? If your answer is yes, don't worry. You're not alone. You are just as able to achieve great successes as the people you look up to. However, our lack of confidence or motivation often holds us back. Well, no more of that. Make Your Bed, written by Admiral William H. McCraven, will inspire and encourage you to pursue your goals. Through his Navy SEAL training, McCraven learned that success doesn't come from social status, race, or religion. Success is a combination of individual willpower and support from others. With the following eight rules from the book, you will have the tools to get ahead in life. Let's get into it. 1. If you want to change the world, start by making your bed. Every morning during his Navy SEAL training, McRaven had to make his bed to perfection first thing after waking up. The instructors would come into the cadets' rooms and inspect their beds. If someone had failed to make his bed, they had to perform the sugar cookie ritual. This may sound like a treat, but it's quite the opposite. This punishment entails getting into the freezing water of the Pacific Ocean and rolling on the beach until you're completely covered with sand after. Even though it seemed absurd that such an ordinary task was made so important in the training, McRaven soon realized the importance behind it. By making your bed first thing in the morning, you will have completed your very first task of the day. This will give you a sense of pride and accomplishment, which will encourage you to complete other tasks the rest of the day. It will also remind you that the little things and habits in life are just as important as the big ones. His message, in my opinion, is about holding yourself accountable. It's not just about tucking your sheets in every morning. Making routines that will help you become a better person, however small they may be, is essential for achieving successes. So make sure to deal with every task as important, no matter how small, and create an accountable mindset. 2. Find someone to assist you with paddling. When Bill Withers sang the song, Lean On Me, he reminded us of the importance of friends and support systems in our lives. You are bound to face challenging times in life that require you to rely on others. This will necessitate teamwork with the right people, which is extremely important for achieving your goals. Find someone you can turn to in difficult times. Friends should not only be there in the good times, true friends are also there to help you through the bad times. Remember that no one person is an island. Everyone needs a little help from others sometimes. Your success is highly dependent on the assistance of others and support from your close ones. McRaven had multiple setbacks, and in each case, someone stepped forward to assist him, someone who believed in his talents, someone who recognized the potential in him when others wouldn't, and someone who put their reputation on the line to help him develop his career. In McRaven's words, I've never forgotten those people, and I'm well aware that all I've accomplished in life has been thanks to others who have assisted me along the road. Life is like a small rubber boat. You cannot paddle it alone. It takes a team of good people to get you where you want to go. 3. Measure people by their hearts, not their flippers. This might sound funny, but it is quite important to take note of. Appearances can be deceitful. After a few weeks of the grueling Navy SEAL training, there are only 35 out of the 150 contestants left. There were now six boat crews, and McRaven was in a boat with the tall guys. There was another boat crew, the Munchkin crew, which only had short guys in it. No one was taller than 5'5", five five, and they were all from various racial and cultural backgrounds. The Munchkin crew's little flippers were often a source of amusement for the taller guys. However, the little guys were in fact the best boat crew and would always outswim the other crews. This perfectly displays that only your determination to succeed matters, not the color of your skin, your ethnic background, education, or social status. Regardless of our physical appearances, we are all equal. Judging a book by its cover can make you miss out on what you stand to learn from it. If you want to change the world, measure a person by the size of their heart not the size of their flippers. 4. The journey to success isn't linear. Admiral McRaven faced uniform inspections by his teacher during his training, 
which he and the other students failed on every occasion, no matter how hard they tried to prepare. The standards were incredibly high, and the instructors would always find something with the pupils' attempts, forcing them to perform the cookie ritual and spend the remainder of the day in their filthy uniform. The cadets that couldn't accept that their hard work went unnoticed didn't make it through the training. They couldn't deal with the fact that sometimes, no matter how well you prepare or perform, you still end up as a sugar cookie. That's just the way life can be sometimes, and if you can't come to terms with that, you won't get ahead in life. The path to success is almost never linear. It often comes with many ups and downs. You just need to fight your way through the lows to get on the other side of it. 5. Don't be afraid of the obstacles you'll face. You should never look at your mistakes or setbacks as a sign of failure. Rather, see them as an opportunity for growth. Whether it's a personal failure, a hurdle to overcome, or an unexpected turn of events, don't be afraid to confront the obstacles that stand in your way of success. Although these times will probably feel uncomfortable and discouraging, these are in fact essential parts of your life, because how you will face them will determine your chances of success in life. During the Navy SEAL training, there was a punishment for the cadets that came in last place in certain training sessions. For example, when you would come in last in the swimming training, you would have to face the so-called circus, which entailed two hours of additional calisthenics while constantly being shouted at by Navy SEAL combat veterans. McRaven was part of a swim team that constantly came in last place and had to take part in the circus many times. However, when the graduation test took place, they came in first. All those hours of calisthenics had made them stronger. This is a perfect example of how failure can actually be your biggest opportunity for achieving successes. 6. To achieve greatness, sometimes you have to slide down the obstacle head first. As part of the Navy SEAL training, all the cadets had to complete an obstacle course consisting of 25 elements the most difficult one being the slide for life, a rope between a three-level 30-foot tower at one end and a one-level tower at the other. The record for sliding down had been untouched for years and seemed unbeatable. Until one day, a cadet decided to go down the slide head first. This move seemed dangerous and foolish. It could injure him and put him out of the training, but he did it anyway and cut the record time by half. He took a risk and it paid off. However scary it may be, you should never shy away from taking a risk in life. 7. When you're covered in mud, start singing. One thing is certain, you will experience difficult times throughout your life. Through these trying times, it can be tough to see the upside. During Hell Week, the most grueling week of the Navy SEAL training, McRaven and his fellow cadets had to spend an entire night sitting straight covered in cold mud. Some of the cadets were ready to give up, but that's when one of them began to sing. One by one, the others began to sing with him. Suddenly, the mud felt less cold and the dawn closer. So whenever you feel like you can't face the difficulties in your life and you're ready to give up, remember that this is the point where you have to push on and prove that you are worthy of success. 8. Never ever ring the bell. McRaven's SEAL training teacher led the group to a brass bell hanging in the center of the courtyard on the first day. He explained that whenever the cadets would want to quit and escape the grueling training circumstances, they could just ring the bell and be free of it all. No more waking up at 5 a.m. or swimming in the freezing water anymore. No more rolling in the sand or being covered with cold mud for hours. However, if you want to achieve greatness in your life, you must never ring the bell. By giving up, you'll rob yourself from the great things that come after hard work and determination. So keep your head up high and don't ever ring that bell. In this insightful book, McRaven stresses that success is the result of willpower, determination, teamwork, and support from others. It doesn't matter where you're from or what you look like. If you prove that you can overcome the trials of life and never give up, you'll be sure to achieve great things. Well, there you have it, guys, a summary of the incredibly inspiring book, Make Your Bed. 
Let me know in the comments if you will from now on start every day with making your bed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.